Okay, God bless you. Today is September the 2nd, and we are on Lesson 13 with the Children's Home out of Kenya. And the lesson today, the main focus is trust. And so let's stay tuned and see how it's going to go for today. God bless you. Well, God has been good to us. He's kept us another week. Um, this speaks to the faithfulness of God. That from day to day, he keeps you and he keeps me so that we can gather another time to speak of his goodness, to speak of his kindness. And that's very important that daily we think on the goodness of Jesus and that we continue to thank him for all that he does. And so let's open up with a word of prayer. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you. God, we thank you for this day. We thank you for a brand new day and for taking us through the day. God, as I meet with these precious children, the people care for them, God, we ask that you would be with us. Be here in this time. Bring understanding that they can gain about the kingdom of heaven and trust you more. Thank you for Pastors John. Thank you for Paul, Pastor Williams, for Liz and Len Kai and the children. Now, God, you be with us as we have this time together and learn the lesson of the day. This is our prayer. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen, and here he is, Pastor Williams. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> yeah. It's, amen. Good, it's good to see you. And good to see you too. Amen. And we've just had the prayer, so I think now, what we'll do is allow the home. So, Paul, you're on. Yeah. Uh, it's been a great week. And we thank God for keeping us up to date. And as always, we always give glory to God. And we lift his name high. So for today, you're going to be a bit different from... The, the the other days because we thought of a thing whereby we can start introducing each and every one of us to you by names and first you're going to start uh, with, with with a poem and then for today i'm going to introduce five people to you and then you'll know each and every one of, of them as time goes so, So, for today, I'm going to introduce big girls and two boys. So I think it's a good idea for you to know each and every one of us. So I think they're going to introduce themselves, each and every one of them. I hope you can see them clearly, right? My name is David. David, good to meet you, David. My name is Nicholas. Ah, Nicholas. Good to meet you, Nicholas. Yes. <laughs> and then you've got Christine. Christine, good. Christine. there you go, there yeah. you go. Hello, Christian. Yeah. My name is Christian. So, Christian here, she is no, the one normally who takes care of the, of, the, of the farm. Because you normally like subdivide the duties to each and every person. So, we've got the person who takes care, like, we've got some monkeys which come and try to sneak into our, uh, into our farm. So, we have to send one person to take care of the farm so that the monkeys can come in. So that's the duty for Christy. And she's always very much 
responsible for that. So she is a good organizer. All yeah. right. My name is Joylene. 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 Yeah. Joylene. Okay. Yeah. Joylene. Beautiful. Beautiful name. God bless so you. So she's she is also also a very responsible girl around the kitchen. She takes care of our, of us, of all of us. So she is a good girl, and we hope for the best for her. All right. <laughs> so she's a cook. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very good. Thank you, Joy. <laughs> My name is Jane. 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 Yeah. So yeah. we've had Joy and Jane. Yeah. Good to meet you, Jane. God bless you. So, she is also a good girl. And she is humble, as you can see. <laughs> and we believe that God is going to do something upon her life one day. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. Wow. Well, I enjoy meeting you all, each of you. And uh, so yeah. we've had David, Nicholas, Christian, Joylene, and Jane. Yes. Yeah. And one of the pictures I want is Pastor John. Put them all together in a picture. Send me a photo of them. Yeah. Each time I meet a new group, I want a picture of them so I can get to know their faces and their names. So when I come there, I will be able to recognize them and say, hi, Jolene, and hi, Jane, and hi, David, and Nicholas, and, and Christian. So yeah. make sure to send me a picture of that group. And next week, we'll get the next group and the next group. All right? Yes. Yeah. So good to meet all of you, and I love it. That's wonderful. Thank you. Thanks. Let me also say thank you for the work, children, that you are doing. When everyone does their part, it makes it easier for everyone. So each individual person, well done. The five that I met directly, all the children, Continue to do the work well. Okay, at this time, I'm going to give the lesson. And then after that, Pastor Williams, you'll pray after the lesson, based on the lesson. All right. So today, always an object lesson. And we are grateful, again, to come to you. And you are all so wonderful. You are beautiful. And as I told my three girls growing up, I have three daughters, and one day I'll share their pictures with you, that more than being beautiful on the outside, you want to be beautiful on the inside. The inside, in your heart, is what matters. In your heart. So let's go to our lesson for today. Let me see if you can get this. What do I have in my hand? It's a particular, just a couple of them. Anyone know what these are? What do you think Magazine. they are? Magazine. Well, what do you see on them? You see pictures of what? Food. Mm -hmm. Yep, somebody said it, different types of food. And so that means that these books are Ah, somebody said it. Say it again. Cookbook. Cookbook. Thank you. These are cookbooks. In the cookbook, each of them, there are recipes. There are recipes. Now, I believe Joylene and Jane, they cook. So they have particular recipes that they go by. Now, if I follow the recipe of the chef, of the cook, I will get the results that they get. Let me repeat. If I follow the recipe, I do what he tells me to do, I'm going to get what he makes. 
I cook, I bake, and I'm always following the recipe. I trust that the person who wrote the recipe knows what they're doing. I trust them. Now, boys and girls, in the same way, but even bigger, God has given us a recipe book. God has given us his recipe book. His recipe book is called the Bible. His recipe book is called the Bible. If you and I go by his instructions, we will get what God has for us. Whatever instructions that God speaks to us in his holy word, if we are obedient, we will be blessed. Now, let me share a scripture with you, two of them. The first scripture is from 2 Timothy 1 and 12. The second part, listen to this, boys and girls. It says, because I know in whom I have believed, I am convinced that he is able to guard what I have entrusted to him for that day. In other words, the Bible is saying you can trust in God. The Bible is saying I can trust in God. I can trust in God. I want you to say that. I can trust in God. I can trust in God. All right. That was pretty good. I almost believe all of you. I want you to say it with a louder voice. I can trust in God. I can trust in God. There you go. That was awesome. That was awesome. And you can trust in God. God will never lie. God will never lead you astray. We can have confidence in God. Here's another scripture verse. I want you to listen to it. Hebrews 13, 6 and 7. It says this. So we say with confidence, the Lord is my helper. I will not be afraid. What can men do to me? Remember your leaders who spoke the word of God to you. Consider the outcome of their way of life and imitate their faith. Now, let me explain this. You have with you Pastor John. He's right there. He has obeyed God's word. Because of that, you can trust what Pastor John says. You can trust what Paul says because they trust the word of God. I can trust God. I can trust God. I want you to repeat that in a loud voice. I can trust God. I can trust God. And here it is. Do you realize that the God that created the world has the recipe for your life. He created the whole world and he created you. And that's why you can trust him. And so I want you to keep that in, in your mind, on your heart, that you can trust God's recipe, the Bible. And the Bible will lead you to a good life a better life, and a best life. And so that's my lesson to you today. Trust the recipe of God. Trust the recipe of God. Trust the word of God. And that's my lesson. Be blessed today as you continue to learn about our God. Pastor Williams. Thank you so very much, Pastor Maria. Yes. The recipe of God is what we need to trust in. Let us pray. Lord of Amoja, 
God in heaven, we come before your throne of grace. We humble ourselves this beautiful day, this beautiful session. We thank you for we have just learned that we can trust in you. We can trust in the recipe that you provide to propel us to the next level in this life. We thank you and we humbly submit ourselves to you so that you will use us as your will will lead us. Thank you for this wonderful moment. We glorify your name. We thank you for the word. May it grow in our hearts. And it is in Jesus' mighty name that I do pray and believe. Let us all say amen. 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 And, and next, next week, I'm going to introduce my family to you. Because not since I'm learning who you are, I will introduce my family, my husband, and my children to you. So we'll do that on next week. Okay? All right. Yeah. Pastor John, do you have something to say? Or Brother Paul? I think Pastor Maria, uh, I want to thank you so much for your uh, uh, princess also being available to, to teach us the word of God. We are so grateful. We thank you for your uh, availability at this time. We honor this uh, session every time, every Wednesday. We have put it as a, as a, as a routine for everyone to follow and to make sure that uh, we know that Pastor Maria is coming every Wednesday, 7 at 30. So we prepare ourselves. <laughs> and uh, it's because we, we need to be, to be taught about the word of God. We are so uh, anxious and so thirsty to, to hear the word of God. So we, we also pray for you so much so that we know you have many things that you are doing there. Uh, you have many responsibilities as we, we follow you in Facebook all this time. You are doing many things. And uh, you always remind us on every Wednesday to come in the, in the room. And the, we thank you. Uh, greet your family. Uh, greet your church. We also thank you for Pastor William. Every time he reminds me, today is Pastor Maria. <laughs> Please be there on time. We also pray for him. We know he is a father of a family. He has many responsibilities that he is doing there. And he is needed at home. And also uh, Mama Lenkai and the Lenkai as well. We, we pray for you all. And we thank you because you always put us in your prayers. Also. God bless you so much. Asante. Thank you. Paul. Oh. Yeah, thank you, thank you very much, Pastor Maria. Uh, may God bless you abundantly. And it's only that I'm very much excited to meet your family <laughs> next week. Yes. And I, I'll, I'll, I'll pray much so that everything will go well. And we believe by the grace of God, you'll have to meet your family even face to face. Amen. I wish you time and may God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Pastor Williams, you want to close us out in prayer? <laughs> Thank you so very much, everybody. Pastor John, I'm happy. Mama Lenkai, Lenkai, Pastor Maria. This is a priceless moment that the Lord has provided for us. So we just want to close in prayers and say until next week, we love you, Pastor Maria. We love your family. We love your church. We love your country. You're always welcome to our home. That is where our heart is. And those precious children that you see there, 
they are anxious and looking forward to meet you sometime next year, God willing. Amen. Let us pray together and close this session for now. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We adore you. We thank you for this wonderful moment. We glorify your name. We speak blessings upon this, your servant, of, uh, that you sent, Pastor Maria, and her family. We pray that her congregation will continue to receive favor and the divine grace of God, that the swim and the, the work that they are doing will receive more favor and glory, more blessings to reach many nations. We thank you for Pastor John, uh, Mama Mary, and the children, and Paul. We thank you for what they are doing, Lord. We know that you are planting a seed that the next generation will be able to be a God-fearing one. We thank you for Lee. We thank you for Lenkai. May they continue receiving favor and uh, divine grace and blessings. We glorify your holy name. Thank you, dear Jesus. We love you and we exalt you. In Jesus' mighty name, I do pray and believe. Amen. 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 Uh, wonderful. God bless everyone. Lenkai, so good to see you. Give mommy our greetings. And God bless everyone. Children, be good. Do everything for Jesus. Amen. Asante. Asante. Blessings. <laughs> Take care. All right, God bless you folks. And as you see, I think we're becoming more intimate with the children, learning more about them. So today we got to hear some of their names and hopefully in this very lesson, when it shared, you will see the pictures of the children. Um, to me, that's very exciting um, that we'll get to know them even before we get to see them, God willing, uh, next year. So we're grateful to God for what he's doing, the increase of what he's doing. You know, everything's always about relationship. So even as I get to know them, they get to know me, uh, my family, Bermuda. Um, it's a blessing to serve. It's a blessing to know that we can reach from Bermuda across the waters, halfway around the world and uh, bless others. And so for those of you who are coming on board and helping us to help them, I sure enough appreciate it. God bless you. Till next time, blessings abound.